good morning. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Wednesday morning devotional. My name is Jesse. Let's begin in prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for this morning. I thank you for the plans and the purposes that you have for your people. Uh, Lord, I pray that this morning that your truth would shine forth, that your light would go forth and touch each and every heart. Father, they would each take something away from your uh, from this devotional, Father, that your Holy Spirit would speak to them, Lord, and that, and that it would continue to transform them and make us all more like Jesus. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Well, I named this devotional Radical Honesty, and there's been some things uh, that I've been reading and, and going through. Uh, looking through that have really convicted my heart about in certain areas and I wanted to read this passage from John chapter 8 and verse uh, 31 and following it says so Jesus said to the Jews who who had believed in him if you abide in my word you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free and so we know that Jesus said, you'll know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And in other passages of Scripture, right, Jesus calls the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, with a capital T, the Spirit of Truth. Likewise, uh, he's when he's speaking to the Pharisees, he says that the devil is a liar and the father of lies, and when he speaks a lie, he speaks out of his true nature. And so we see this dichotomy be between the truth and lies, um, and the truth being a part of who God is, even the spirit of, capital T, truth. And we see the devil being a liar, a manipulator, a deceiver. And the Bible tells us in the New Testament, in the letters, to not to lie to one another. And so we, I, I want to focus on the, the importance of honesty in our life and in our walk with Jesus and our, our walk with others, Christians and non-Christians. The truth is, is that honesty is so important and that the truth will set us free. The truth is freeing. It breaks chains. And sometimes we want to avoid the truth because we don't want to, um, <laughs> we, we don't want to feel the pain of, of shame or we want to avoid hurting other people's feelings, or um, or we just want to avoid a conflict, right, or contention. But I want us to take time this morning to, to think about the importance of truth, and, and think about the importance of truth being a freeing mechanism. And uh, Jesus telling us that the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of capital T, Truth. And so there's something about honesty that sets us free, and there's something about honesty that is purifying. Even in a situation, even if it causes conflict in the present, uh, a lot of times that conflict is already there. Maybe it brings it to the surface or it reveals. But... Uh, Honesty often allows for something to breathe and, and then for a situation to be to be dealt with appropriately rather than hidden in the shadows, hidden in the dark. You know, there's something about Adam and Eve when they sinned, they realized they were naked, and then when they hear God, they hide. And there's something about hiding, there's something about deception uh, that's, that's part of a sin nature, that's part of a sin conscious nature. And there's something about the truth and standing up and being honest. And sometimes that takes a lot of courage that's, that's godly or godlike and upright. And obviously, a, a, a lot of times the truth is humbling. It can humble us because sometimes uh, dealing with the truth, we even uh, are in denial ourselves about some things in our lives or there's some things that we don't want to handle. And so sometimes uh, we need people around us, hopefully, who are telling us the truth about ourselves and about the situations that we're in. 
that are able to speak the truth into a situation, even if that, that's hard, or even if that hurts us in the moment, hurts our feelings in the moment. Hopefully they can come to us in a, a, a place where they love us out of, and out of love are being honest with us. And uh, not that we're looking to hurt people, but we're looking for the truth to set ourselves and others free and the truth that comes from God. The Bible says that the word of the Lord is sharper than any two-edged sword. The Bible can, can cut. It can pierce because it's true, because it has truth to it, and that truth is powerful. And so this morning, I want to think, uh, I want to focus on being honest today, being honest this week, being truthful, even in a situation where maybe we want to be less than truthful, and there's all kind. there's a spectrum, right, of things, whether we tell white lies, or we omit certain facts, uh, we skew things a certain way, and that doesn't mean that we have to be so blunt. But are we being truthful? Are we being honest? And, and let the Holy Spirit and your conscience lead you and guide you into being a person who speaks truth, who speaks honesty, and, and therefore uh, invites the spirit of truth to use us, to speak through us, to minister to the people around us, and bring breakthrough, bring freedom. Because the Lord, uh, that the Lord uses the spirit of truth, and He is, the Holy Spirit is a spirit of truth. And so sometimes, if we're less than honest, we're not ministering. And if we're less than honest, we are carrying around baggage that we shouldn't be carrying. And so sometimes, sometimes the truth hurts. Sometimes the word of the Lord cuts and pierces, and you're like, ooh, I don't like that, or ooh, that prunes me. But let, the, let honesty bring breakthrough. First in ourselves. Say, God, be honest with me. And then when we come to those decisions on how we interact with people, to be honest, to be honest, and let the truth speak into a situation and bring breakthrough. Amen. Dear Lord, I thank you for this morning. I pray that you would teach us to be honest, to walk in radical honesty and truthfulness, Father, and that as we lean towards your truth, Father, that your Holy Spirit would begin to operate in us to a fuller extent. And Lord, that uh, you would use us as your people, Father, that, that as we're more honest, more truthful, that we would be more like Jesus. And Lord, that if there's anything, an area that we lack understanding, Father, that you would be truthful with us and bring us to revelation in your name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you tonight at Alabaster House. It's going to be egg stuffing, so we're going to have a fun time. And there's going to be desserts and so forth. So come on out and help us uh, prepare for our, our Easter egg hunt. Just as